I'm Jeff Russo here in South Buffalo. Included in the incredible stories of the Western New York community coming together during the December storm are the efforts of those on the front lines and our local hospitals, including here at Mercy Hospital, where the leadership and staff came together to push through the challenges of this generational storm, also continue to provide a high level of care. I think it was probably the most impressive storm we've seen. South Buffalo, one of Mother Nature's favorite winter targets. And as the Christmas storm of 2022 rolled in, the staff at Mercy Hospital of Buffalo knew they'd have to rise to the occasion. We knew there was going to be a lot of leaders we'd need to depend on and a lot of staff to potentially give up time with their families to be here to care for the patients. Michelle Wild is director of nursing at Catholic Health. She tells me as the snow piled up, many nurses couldn't physically get to the hospital, meaning long, demanding days for those already on site. People were here up to five days. Um, some of the shifts, it depended on what it was, if it was critical care or the emergency department, the rotations went differently. Some nurses, some ancillary staff were working 16 hours. It was extremely challenging. Jacqueline Meyer is the nurse manager for Mercy's cardiovascular ICU. She tells me her team rallied together in the face of the storm to still provide a high level of critical care. We had nurse practitioners turning and bathing and doing everything that they could do to make sure that our patients were comfortable during these extreme circumstances. But it wasn't always easy. Morale was a problem. I mean, it, at first it really was because we all have families, some of us young families. It, people, I mean, they want to be home. The holiday coming didn't really help. So Aaron Manzinski, a registered nurse in the CVICU, tells me his co-workers got creative to not only take care of patients, but also each other. We had, you know, one of my co-workers had very generously gone up and bought everybody a Christmas present and put it under our unit Christmas tree. And that was, we all kind of thought that was like just a nice touch. And the efforts to support each other didn't stop there. I brought my Instapot, so we made a couple batches of friendship soup. Lena Quarantello is the clinical specialist of the CVICU and tried to comfort her co-workers by making soup. We ended up here. We happened to have the food to do it. Um, we made it together. Uh, we ate it as, you know, a family in the break room. It just... It just felt right. Short breaks from patients to watch a Buffalo Bills victory on Christmas Eve also raised spirits. As did the efforts of Mercy Hospital's dietary team that still found a way to feed 600 staff members and more than 300 patients three times a day during the storm. No one complained about the task at hand. Everyone knew what we had to do. Michael Galbraith, Mercy Hospital's food service director, led the effort with a bare bones dietary staff. You know, everybody pulls together in times of emergencies and uh, to see everyone pull together and um, work together, work out of their normal daily routine to help el help others, help coworkers, help family members, help people who got stuck at the hospital, help patients. It was really heartwarming. A heartwarming effort at Mercy Hospital of Buffalo to keep patients safe during the storm of a generation. I don't know what else to tell you, but we're nurses. That's sort of just part of the job. That's what we do. We just take care of people. It's Buffalo, right? You know, the city of good neighbors. That's what this hospital is for this community. Jeff Russo, 7 News.